I played the Ouija board. I think I let a spirit portal inside my house. I got my first Ouija board when I was eight. Me and me sister begged my mom for it. After a few more begs my mom finally gave in. A day later she bought it and me and my sister finally got to hold the Ouija board in our hands. It was like seeing your elf on the shelf move for the first time, it was magical. But this story isn't the one I want to tell. I don't even know what to tell, I don't know if I was drunk or not, but the last experience I had. I don't even know if it had walked the earth. It all started when me and my sister saw a girl in my parents' closet. I remember her curled up in a ball with a soaking wet white nightgown. Her long black wet hair was drooping over her face so we never got to see her face. She would be rocking back and forward. Although I never felt scared around her. On the other hand my sister was terrified. So a year ago we played the Ouija board inside the closet. We brought the Ouija board out and placed it on the ground along with the planchet. My stomach started twisting and I felt sick to my stomach, my sister did too, that's how we knew she was there. We placed our ring finger and index finger on one side. I had mine on the right and my sister's on the left. We moved the planchet in a circle asking if anyone wanted to speak to us. My face started getting hot. I remember feeling a force pulling the planchet to yes and me and my sister both looked at each other, our facing clarifying to each other we weren't moving it. What is your name? I asked, my voice was low. The planchet moved to A and then moved to yes. We thought it was Morse code because they tended to speak in Morse code a lot. A? I asked, wanting to clarify that that was her name. Are you a female? My sister asked, her eyes locked on the planchet. The planchet moved to yes and we nodded, both already knowing she was. I sighed and shifted a bit uncomfortably from the question I was about to ask. Do you mind me asking how you died? I asked, knowing this could have upset her. But I was relieved to know that she wasn't upset, she told us she was waterboarded in our backyard way before our house was made. Our backyard was a forest, but it used to be an ocean. We asked a bunch of weird stupid questions just to get a good friendship with her so she knew we weren't just trying to get entertainment from her rather than being her friend. Then I finally asked if she was a demon and she paused for what seemed like 20 seconds. My throat dropped to my stomach when the planchet moved to yes. Me and my sister kept a straight face so she wouldn't know that we were a bit frightened, but when the planchet moved to RUN our faces showed our true emotions. We moved the planchet to goodbye as fast as we could and threw the planchet on the ground before sprinting to the bedroom door which we hadn't remembered closing. I tried to open the door but it felt like an invisible force was closing it shut before I finally got it open. We ran downstairs and to our parents which were watching a show, I don't quite remember what it was called. Me and my sister forgot about it after a few days, but a month later everything got worse. I started hearing footsteps and so was my sister. We saw even more ghosts and heard more, but I never returned. I'm still hearing footsteps when I'm alone and hearing voices when no one is around. I never looked at my house the same way again. I'm currently in my bed waiting for the noises to start. I don't know if they will ever hurt me, but I do know something, I will never be alone again.